To create a print map and land ID, we're going to click on the print area button, which is located below our save and share button options. And when I click that, I'm going to see a guidance frame appear on my map. And the simple concept here is whatever I put inside of that guidance frame is what I'm going to get on my printable map, my PDF or my PNG. So the first step to making a quality print map in land ID is we want to frame up the map around this guidance frame the best we can. And if we're using a laptop, we can actually trigger a continuous zoom by placing two fingers on our mouse pad of our laptop and sliding those two fingers up and down. That's gonna allow us to frame that map as optimally as we can. And once we've done that, we're gonna pay attention to the left side under our print options. So we can go to our base map, we can choose which aerial we wanna do. If we wanna make a contour map, we could choose a topo option, or we wanna make a street map, we can go ahead and do that. Below the base map are our overlays. Uh, here we can make specific themed maps like a contour map or maybe a floodplain map. Any of the overlays we can turn on and they'll be included in the print map if they are on the map when you process the print to PDF or PNG below. Finally, we have mapped features. This is all of the content that we've added to the map. And you can see here, I've turned off the panoramic view and the photo points by clicking the eye on and off. Making a print map, it doesn't make much sense to include photo points or panoramic views. So uh, understanding that you can turn the items that you've added to the map on and off to be included or unincluded in your print maps in your map features is valuable to know. And we close that, we have additional options. So if we've run a soil report, we can actually turn the eyeball on right here and we can make a, a printable version of our soil report for this property. A few other additional options, we can include the uh, logo that we have on our land ID account. We can also include our contact information. Here's the page orientation. So we can choose if we wanna do portrait or landscape. Our two page sizes we currently offer, eight and a half by 11 or 11 by 17. Scale bar options would be in miles and feet. And then our DPI, I'd recommend just staying on 300. And once we have all of our settings just like we want, we're going to choose to either create a PDF or a PNG version of this map. I'll go ahead and I'm gonna click print to PDF. And if I wanna receive this PDF in an email, I'm gonna check this option on. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and hit the uh, blue print button right there and that's gonna process through and you can see some blue dots running through. The easiest thing to, to, to do at this point is to sit and wait for those dots to stop. When the dots stop, it'll turn into a clickable link where I can then access that PDF. And we can now see that the dots have stopped and we now have a clickable link. And when I open up the PDF, I can now see what the print map looks like. Now, this is from my account, so that's gonna be my logo up in the top right and then at the bottom that'll be my contact information on your own account if you go into your account details on your dashboard and you add your logo and contact information that's where your logo logo will appear in the top right of your print maps and your contact information will appear in the bottom left of your print maps going back into the print options if we want to make a variety of print maps for this property the best thing to do is we're gonna close this little pop-up and we can come back over to our print options and we wanna leave the map frame just like it is. And then we just need to change the overlays in the base map. So uh, in this example, what if I wanted to do a hydro map? I can just come here and I turn on the appropriate options. And then I'll repeat the process. So I'll do print to PDF, print. I wait for the dots to process and turn into a clickable link and then I can download that print map as well. So this is how we can create high quality print maps in Land ID.